Hey everybody, happy Teenage Tuesday. My name is Gianna. I feel like nowadays I, like 95% of the time I'm filming in a white shirt. Isn't that like true? Or now that I'm pointing it out, maybe you'll think so too. Okay, so. Oh hi, I make new videos every Tuesday. I'm so excited that you guys are here. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. I really appreciate it more than you will ever know. If you are not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe if you like my videos. And then every Tuesday at 11 Eastern, you can see my face and we can have this fun little time. So um, yeah, go ahead and do that and like this video if you like it. I am thrilled because today, this video is very special because it is my 100th upload on YouTube. Can you guys believe that? I hit two years in August and, and now I'm at 100 uploads. That's crazy. Technically, I guess now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably not my 100th upload because like I have taken down some videos. <laughs> so, but this is like my 100th, like right now, currently, while this video is up, I have 100 videos on YouTube. That's insane. And I am really hyped about it. I feel like this is like a new chapter. I feel like stuff's like really good on my channel <laughs> right now. Like I feel like I'm doing a lot of what I want to do. And um, I'm about to go to Alani, literally going to the airport in eight hours and so right now while you're watching this, I am in Hawaii on a beach with my girlfriends, living my best life. And I can't believe it. How fun is that, right? So yeah, thank you guys so much for being around. If you're one of the people that have been around since the very beginning, if you've seen like, I don't know, the first 90 videos, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this space. I like love being able to do this and I love bringing this content to you guys. It really hypes me up. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now onto the fun stuff. Tomorrow morning, Alani. It's time, it's happening. My flight takes off at six in the morning. It takes off at six, so I'm leaving here at 4 a.m. I'm going to Seattle and have a layover in Seattle and then I'm flying to Honolulu. I have my vacation lashes on. They're like kind of dramatic, I know, but they're gonna like fall out a little bit. And then I got Cajun shrimp on my nails. So I wanted to make a video. I, when I went to Alaska last year, my last like really big trip that I did, I made a lookbook video and I will link it down below. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever made in my life, but it was a six hour long video and I have so much to do to get ready for this flight right now. And I really wanted to make sure I got a video guys, the video out for you guys by Tuesday. Um, so I want to show you guys kind of how I packed for Alani, what I packed without going into like too much detail as in like seeing every outfit I kind of want to show you. I utilize packing cubes. I like to think of myself as a very good packer. Um, and since I will have a 14 and a half hour travel day tomorrow, I wanted to make sure I have like lots of snacks, um, lots of options for things to do. So I'm just going to kind of take you over by my suitcase, show you like the little details of everything and yeah. Let's go. Okay, so over here I have my away travel bag. It's actually my mom's. It's the carry-on bag. So this part is nice because it slips onto your suitcase and then it has a lot of room on um, the inside as well. It's like pretty spacious. So this is the only thing that I'm carrying on and I'm really excited because I have enough room to just like bring stuff that I actually wanna use on the plane. So since it's a long flight, I'm bringing a lot of, um, things that I deem necessary <laughs> that I haven't brought before on a flight. So this is a travel blanket. It's not too big, but it does take up a lot of space, but it is a lifesaver to travel with because I could ball it up or put it by my head. So um, I think that's going to be very important. I also have a head pillow. I never have used one of these before on an airplane, but um, I like to sleep on the tray table, so I'm gonna put this down and like rest my head on it. Um, honestly, what I'm go what I'm going for this trip is like the most comfort possible. Over here, I am breaking out the GoPro for this trip. It's really important because we're gonna be doing a lot of water type activities. So I have the Hero Four. I've been using this for years. Um, I love that you can see my reflection and everything. This is a hand strap, so you can just put this on your hand and. That's how I like to carry it. This is the charger for my GoPro and mounts for um, the car and paddleboard. And then I have my, I don't even know what this is called, but this is for the camera that I'm currently using right now so I can vlog. 
over here over here um this is my face mask so i always travel with a face mask on joey got this for me from tokyo from bathe and ape um but i always travel with a mask on because i am so scared of germs hate germs so that's my travel mask i always bring it with me and it goes over my mouth um this is from the good patch if you guys haven't heard of them they have a pretty cool instagram they sell at like anthropology and online but basically it's a sticker that i can stick on my body and it is um a hemp infused patch that will put me to sleep and i could wear it for 12 hours so definitely going to be wearing that has some melatonin in it um since school has gotten so busy I actually haven't been doing any leisure reading for two months, so I have to finish two books. I really want to finish them on this trip. I'm reading The Alchemist and Over the Top, um, the Jonathan Van Ness book. So I'm bringing these two. <clears throat> I haven't been doing any leisure reading really lately, so this is my Fit Fab Fun from summer. Haven't read that. I want to read it before I recycle it. And my Disney Rewards Insider from fall of 2019, so not too old. So I have that reading material. I have Stress Relief Aromatherapy Hand Sanitizer. Little something to put me to sleep. I like to travel with z even for when we get there. Um, if my sleeping is, if my sleeping is really off, this kind of helps like reset everything for me. I am bringing all of my vitamins from Hum Nutrition with me. And these are in Ziploc bags because we are getting rid of the Ziploc bags in the kitchen. So if you watched my last video, yes, I'm still going low waste, but we are still getting rid of a lot of stuff that we have. So don't come for me. Um, Dominique, my sister-in-law, got me this really cute eye mask. It's really soft and plush. So I'm going to bring that on the plane so I could sleep. My wallet, of course, and I have like the little wristlet on it. And then I have two RX bars. If you guys haven't had RX bars, they are fantastic. These keep me full for a long time too, which is fantastic. Um, I'm bringing a ton of snacks. I'm actually still prepping like fruit upstairs in jars, but we went to Trader Joe's and did a little haul. I got dried pineapple rings. I got multi-seed crackers. I love these. These are some of my favorite things. Um, the jerk style plantain chips. These are awesome. And then the soft and juicy mango. Joey just recently pointed out that these have sulfur dioxide in them. And so I should just eat the other mango that's like just mango. But these ones are so good. More reading materials. I have my Trader Joe's Fearless Flyer to read. The Disney Files, the newest edition. And then I have a flip ton of school copy school reading to do so I have these and then I have another stack in my backpack that I need to pack and then I am bringing my dual brush pens Tombow if you guys don't have Tombow pens do yourself a favor get on Amazon get some they're like water color pens they're so cool and of course my scribbles that matter bullet journal just so I could be doing some of that I want to do all of the things that I don't have enough time to do during the school year while I'm on the plane Okay, that's not really focusing, but I have this really cute, my meditation log is in here, my sleep log, and then my October mood tracker, which is fun. I got a printout um, from May Designs is the company. That's pretty fun. I want to keep that going. So that is it for my carry-on. Okay, so over here we have my suitcase, which is the Away brand bag. So I'll show you what I have on both sides. I haven't done a video where I'm not sitting in a long time, so I'm sorry if this makes you, like, sick. But in here, I have my socks and my underwear in the CalPAC um, pouch. This side is more, like, miscellaneous. I have a bunch of, like, Espadrille shoes from Target and Shannon's birthday gift over here because it's her birthday while we're in Alani. I have literally an entire case of sun products sunscreen after sun care sun lotion face hair scalp everything for um the sun because you know i don't want those wrinkles this train case is all of my makeup and hair and body products and then these are my makeup eraser 
travel erasers. They're amazing. They're little discs and there's eight of them or seven of them for every day of the week and there's a little mesh bag in there. So after they're all dirty, I can throw them in the mesh bag and throw them in the washing machine. I have this little bag here from Target. That's gonna be great for the trip. I have just some head accessories and my jewelry and this little Mickey Mouse case here. Over on this side, I have some like fitness gear because I definitely plan on working out while I'm in Alani at least five of the mornings. <laughs> and then just some jeans and pajamas and extras. <coughs> Out here, I have still yet to pack my hair dryer from Dry Bar. I have the travel size. I have two face masks. I like to do face masks on the plane. I should actually bring one for the actual plane ride. I have my hair brushes here, deodorant, razor, and then I have my gym shoes and socks that I haven't packed yet. I like to bring a fuzzy pair of socks for the um, hotel because sometimes the floors skeeve me out. This side of the suitcase is my favorite because it's the best organized. So I have a backpack here. This is for when we do like outdoor things, like when we go hiking or whatever we're doing, go to the beach away from Alani, like outside just in Hawaii. I also am bringing this, which my parents got when they were in Cancun. It is, um, like a little safe that you can hook onto your beach chair. And then you can put like your phone and your wallet and things in there so that they're safe when you're in the water. Um, in each of these packing cubes, I have my bathing suits. So I labeled these ones. So these packing cubes are from CalPAC. I just roll everything and put them inside. I have days one through four in here and then days four through eight in here. And all I do is just roll my clothes. And this is actually a dress that I made. I'll link a video right here. I physically handmade it myself for this trip for the character breakfast. I made this dress for Hawaii and it's done. And it took me two days and it really stressed me out. So that is it guys. I am so sorry for the short video today. I am so overwhelmed with things to do. I'm exhausted. Why am I winded from that? I didn't even do anything. I have to download some movies on my phone, Spider-Man Far From Home I haven't watched yet, and The Politician on Netflix, and just make sure I have everything together. So next time I see you, it'll be a Lonnie time. Happy Tuesday Tuesday, everybody. I said Toonji almost, right? We'll do it again. Happy Toonji Tuesday, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'm in Hawaii right now. Isn't that crazy? But like, not right now, but like very soon. So, ah! Happy Toonji Tuesday. Can't wait to show you guys these vlogs. They're gonna be so good. Yeah, it's Alani vlogs. Uh, 